LWO on WeatherNet. Uh, lift off conditions looking pretty good. ESTS is ready for launch. Ignition. Lift off. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Ten, nine, eight. Side booster ignition. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Zero. Ignition. Falcon 9 with the DART mission. On the way for humanity's first ever planetary defense test mission. Vehicles pitching downrange. Stage one chamber pressure is nominal. T plus 33 seconds, SpaceX launch engineers seeing a nominal conditions on Falcon 9 as we begin the trip to space carrying the DART spacecraft. M1D engines about to begin throttling down. Power and telemetry nominal. We're throttled down. Avionics calls out good power on the vehicle. Vehicle supersonic. Max Q. We've gone supersonic. We're through the period of maximum dynamic pressure. And the Maryland 1D engines have throttled back up to full power. We're out of the throttle bucket. Everything continues to look good with the stage one trajectory. Nico. Stage separation confirmed. In the ignition. We've got successful stage separation. Second stage engine ignition now at full power on the Merlin engine. Next event coming up is going to be payload fairing jettison. Getting ready now. There's fairing the view. Separation confirmed. Of the fairing. And we've got deployment of the payload fairing. And now the DART spacecraft exposed to the vacuum of outer space. Now we will be attempting to retrieve these new fairing halves with the help of our recovery vessel, NRC Quest. Stage two on nominal trajectory. Everything going well with Falcon 9 and DART. What you're looking at on your screen is a live view of that NVAC engine on our second stage. Burning bright, we are currently in the first of two planned MVAC burns for spacecraft deployment today. Now coming up in just, just a little over a minute will be SECO 1. That is second stage engine cutoff one. Again, there's two burns for the MVAC engine on the second stage, so we are in the first burn. Expected loss of signal, Cook. MVAC shut down. At T plus six minutes and 40 seconds, uh, you should see on your screen, hopefully we'll get some live views of the first stage uh, entry burn. And that entry burn will last about 30 seconds. Now for the entry burn, we do relight the center E9 engine and then partway through we relight the E1 and E5 engines so that we have three total M1D engines helping to slow the vehicle down as it passes back into the Earth's atmosphere. And we are just about 30 seconds away from that entry burn on first stage. As a reminder, the Merlin engines on the first stage are optimized for sea level, and these do achieve 190,000 pounds of thrust during ascent and descent. And it looks like we got a live view on your left-hand screen of the first stage. Stage one, FTS is safe. Stage 
one entry burn startup. And we heard the call out as well as visual confirmation that the entry burn has begun on the first stage. Again, this is about a 30 second burn and just helps to slow the vehicle down as it's re-entering the denser part of the Earth's atmosphere. Stage one entry burn shut down. And as you could see, the engine shut down on your screen. We did hear a call out that entry burn is complete. And we just Nominal had... Nominal orbit insertion. That's what we were waiting for. Stage one, landing burn startup. So we got Seco one on second stage. We got a confirmation of good orbit and the landing burn has begun on first stage. And now we have a live view of first stage making its way to, of course, I still love you. Stage one, landing leg deploy. And we had some incredible views. Now we're just waiting for some confirmation of that first stage landing here in a second. As we have a live view of second stage currently with the engine cut off as it's coasting towards its targeted uh, orbit. We will confirm once we have uh, that confirmation for that first stage landing. So now at this time, our mission isn't over just yet. The second stage is now embarking on its first coast phase. Coasting in this orbit will last about 20 minutes and we will light that MVAC engine for a second time shortly after T plus 28 minutes and 38 seconds. So we'll see you back here at T plus 28 minutes. Welcome back to the webcast of the Falcon 9 mission carrying the DART spacecraft for NASA. And coming back with some great news, as you can see on your screen, that we didn't get a live view of touchdown. We confirm a successful stage one landing. The second stage completed its first burn, placing them in the desired orbit. And right now we are approaching the second engine burn, uh, the, the burn of the second engine to carry Falcon 9. In recognition. And there's that SES-2, as you can see live on your screen, lighting up there. Now this burn is planned to last a little less than one minute. And during that time, we will add about three and a half kilometers per second to our velocity. Now you can see the gauge on the screen showing stage two quickly gaining speed. We'll add about three and a half kilometers per second or about 12,500 kilometers per hour to our velocity. Index shut down. Now the DART spacecraft is still attached to Falcon 9's second stage. So we've got one more major activity remaining in the launch mission, and that is spacecraft deployment. It's time to occur at about T plus 55 minutes and 42 seconds for the DART spacecraft deployment. Acquisition of signal, goodbye. Welcome back to our launch coverage of the DART mission for NASA. And that is deployment of the DART spacecraft from the Falcon 9 second stage due to happen in about 10 seconds from now. The view you see from the second stage camera is the DART spacecraft. We're gonna listen to hear the call out and watch for DART separation. DART separation confirmed. And to those watching, you're witnessing a successful deployment of the DART spacecraft. Those are some incredible views there. Now, one quick clarification. This is actually the 95th recovery of a Falcon first stage, which is the 88th for a Falcon 9. And with successful payload deploy, that brings our webcast to a close. For continuing coverage of the NASA mission, head on over to nasa.gov slash live or check them out on their social channels. Thank you to NASA for entrusting us with the DART mission as well as the range for their support. And of course, thank you to all of our viewers. We hope that you enjoyed the webcast this evening and we'll see you again soon.